Hey everybody, check it out. I'm Greg. I'm a member of the Fox Valley Astronomical Society and I just received my new Vionis Hestia. And so this is basically the unpacking of the Hestia. And uh, I know a lot of people are interested in this, so we're going to check it out and see what's in the box. All right, so here is the box and the packing. You can see that it's packaged pretty well here. So sorry for the uh, shakiness. It's a one-man operation here with the camera. Uh, camera is kind of on a tripod a little bit, but uh, there is the uh, the tripod for the Hestia, as it turns out, and that is the rest of the box. So it's packed pretty well with bubble wrap. So as always, when you're shipping anything like from an eBay sale or whatnot, you do want to wrap everything in bubble wrap. All right, so here we are going to Cut apart some of the tape and get to the tripod itself. And there you go. You have to admit, this is a pretty nicely packaged product here. So then the big deal here is the Hestia itself. Being very careful not to cut through the really nice box here. And here it is. This thing is awesome. Box looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and open it up. All right, very nicely packaged product here. Very nice carrying case. I'm glad about the carrying case. I remember for a while. They said that the carrying case was on back order and it was delaying things, but here the item arrived February 26, 2024. So uh, no worries on that. So we'll take it out of the original case and we will open the very nice carry case that the Hestia comes in. And here it is. This is awesome. Here is a solar filter for the Hestia. And this is a alternate attachment item here. There was some information about this on the Facebook pages. Uh, there's some extra holes on the side of the Hestia and it was for mounting extra items. This kind of looks like it's, I don't know, looks like it's the width of a cell phone maybe, but it's non, it's non adjustable. So I'm not really sure exactly what this is. Maybe it attaches somehow in here. I'm not really sure. But, uh, yeah, okay, so these are magnetic, and these will basically, I can't use the phone because I'm using that to record this, but these basically um, stay right here, and it centers your phone on the um, eyepiece area here um, where you set up your phone to have the camera look through this item here, and then the lens here points to the sky or whatever, and now I have to download the uh, Gravity app and get everything set up. It's kind of clear today, so I might be able to get a picture of the sun on day one here uh, when I've received the Hestia. So we'll check back uh, in a little bit, maybe. Okay, so one thing I did notice here is there is this plastic piece over the lens that you want to remove. If you don't do that, you're not going to be getting uh, very good pictures. So... I spotted this uh, plastic piece. You do want to remove it. And there is no lens cap that I can see. Uh, otherwise, anybody with a uh, regular telescope uh, might be able to get a eyepiece cap to fit in here. I'm probably going to look and see what I have. But um, yeah, it doesn't come with a lens cap, which is kind of, uh, kind of interesting. Uh, maybe it's a, oops, I'm not really sure, but... We'll check back after I get the Gravity app downloaded and get it set up, and um, we'll see uh, where we go from there. Oh, by the way, there is an app that you can download on your phone to see whether it is compatible with the Hestia. I think that information is on the Hestia Facebook pages, so you want to check that out. All right, while I'm downloading the app, I found that uh, there is a little uh, package here with a, looks like a micro-cleaning cloth, and some cleaning wipes here. Uh, I assume that's for the lens that they don't have a dust cap for. 
And then you've got this card here, which has QR code to download the app pretty automatically. And then over here on the Hestia itself, there's a QR code. And I think you scan this QR code and it's similar to webcams that you may have set up if anyone has ever set up any webcams. You scan the QR code and it has all the information that the app needs in order to be able to set up uh, the remote item here. So I think you scan this QR code once you download the app and it will should automatically set up the Hestia if everything goes according to plan. All right, and then of course here is a solar filter, which is pretty important if you want to try to image the sun. And I think we're going to give that a try here in a little bit, but I just wanted to show this as well. All right, so here is the tripod and I got to tell you, this is a pretty nice tripod. I've uh, used quite a few Manfrotto tripods uh, with my telescopes and this one looks pretty solidly built and looks like it is the real deal. You've got a quick release here. Apparently this top plate screws into the bottom of the Hestia, which just quickly clamps onto the top here. So this should be very cool. So we're going to get that set up and check it out and uh, see what it's all about. All right, so it turned out that this tripod at the moment is a total bust. And what the problem is, is after I got the plate off, I couldn't figure out how to get the plate back on. And the screw thread that go from the plate to the Hestia is 3 8 inch, not the typical 120 thread that you normally have on the top of a tripod. So what I have set up is my Star Adventurer with a ball head, and I've got it set up here, and uh, yeah, I'm going to be taking it outside, and we're going to see if uh, we can make something happen here with the Hestia on a Star Adventurer with the ball head. So uh, bottom line at the moment, um, Trying to use everything that came with the pack did not really work out because I couldn't figure out how to get this plate right here connected back up to the tripod head right here. It looks like there's a crack here and this is supposed to separate, but I don't really see how that uh, works. You can see that this separates out a little bit, but no matter what I tried, I could not get the plate back in here and... Uh, the sun's out. It's clear. I'm going to go out and see if I can take a picture of the sun with the uh, Hestia. All right, so here it is all set up on my Star Adventure, getting ready to try taking a picture of the sun. And a lot of people were asking about this thing right here. You know, what is it? Uh, some people thought that it was a finder, and I'm going to claim that it is a finder in here. You can see down here, on my hand, oops, there it is. You see two dots right there. So I think if you just adjust the Hestia to get a single dot, you will be pointing exactly right at the sun. I'm gonna put the solar filter in first before I do that and before I connect the camera up. But for sure, I would say that this little attachment that comes right here on the side is definitely your solar finder. I've been using a Coronado 60 millimeter Solar Max 2 for uh, almost 10 years now. I'm familiar with that solar finder, and I'd say that this is another estimation of a pretty decent solar finder if this is indeed how it works, and I believe it is. All right, so here you go. The solar filter is installed in the Hestia, and next up, we're going to fire everything up and see if we can figure out how to get a picture. Ah, and look at this, there is another tab right here that you need to remove this little piece of plastic where the uh, phone camera plugs in. Otherwise, you're not going to get a very good image of the sun or anything else that you're trying to image. So you definitely want to remove both of those protective covers. Okay, so there you go. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a single dot now where the Hestia should be lined up directly at the sun. So we are going to try connecting the phone and see if we can get a decent image.
All right, well, let's close out my first look of the Hestia. First thing I wanted to address is the fact that I couldn't get this adapter plate back on the tripod. And basically the easiest way to do that is to put the groove on this side right into groove by the blue button there and then press down on the blue button and then the plate just slips right back in place. Also keep in mind that the screw hole that mounts the Hestia to a tripod is a 3 8 uh, inch 16 thread or it seems like it. It's uh, It would be the metric equivalent to that if it's not really 3 8 16. Another issue is the fact that there is no lens cap for the Hestia. This is the Hestia solar filter, which screws on. No problem screwing the Hestia solar filter on. Whoops. All right, I did try screwing in a regular Orion moon filter, 13% moon filter. Here you can see that it works just fine. This definitely is the finder for the sun. You just line up these two holes and it's kind of hard to actually get used to this as it turns out, at least for me on the first day. And by the way, I have been solar observing and imaging with the Coronado Solar Max 2 for about 10 years. So I have some experience with solar observation and astronomy in general. I've been involved in astronomy since uh, 1969. So I have uh, a little bit of experience. Another thing that I thought was kind of an issue were these magnetic slides, which is supposed to hold the cell phone in place so that you can put uh, the camera right around this rubberized um, eyepiece, I, I guess it is. So it's the eyepiece end of the telescope. This is basically, basically a telescope, which is you know, a box of lenses, people have joked, but it's basically a telescope that mounts onto a tripod that you can connect any cell phone um, and uh, be able to get uh, images. And presumably you'd be able to use the Gravity app to get those images. I found the Gravity app to be limiting because the fastest speed I could go to as far as the shutter speed was one millisecond, which is one thousandth of a second and the sun was really washed out as you see in this image here and the only way to get a reasonable image with my samsung s10 that's the cell phone i was using was to go into the pro mode of the samsung camera app uh, outside of the gravity app I, I didn't use the gravity app i went to the cell phone app of the s10 itself and selected pro mode and then i was able to go up to one eight thousandth of a second shutter speed and i was able to get this image that you see right here and um, yeah i've colorized it a little bit to try to uh, give it a little bit of color and it's basically what i have done with my coronado which i use a monochrome camera to take a picture but you know if you're buying this for the eclipse of 2024 um, I'm not really sure how well it will work out, to be honest with you, because totality is only going to be a couple minutes and you can't really be screwing around trying to maneuver your cell phone to be in proper alignment with the eyepiece. Things have to work perfectly in order for you to be able to take advantage of imaging the eclipse and still basically observe the eclipse. I don't think you want to spend all your time fiddling with the Hestia and then you miss the eclipse. So um, at this point, I guess um, I have a mixed reaction. I don't really uh, want to give up on it and sell it, but the Hestia definitely had issues. Lack of a cap is definitely a, an issue. I tried both types of inch and a quarter caps and none of them would fit on the end of the lens here. Uh, one thing you definitely want to watch out is even though you have the solar filter in there, once you remove the phone, from its mounting place, this eyepiece area or this um, exit port for the Hestia will blast the sunlight through and, uh, you know, you can zap your eyeballs maybe. And um, I'm sure that the solar filter would help, but who wants to take the risk on that? So 
Um, that is my first look at the Hestia. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and maybe you can give me some advice on how to get uh, the Hestia working and squared away, especially with the Gravity app. I, I don't think that I'm going to be able to use the Gravity app with the Samsung S10. All right, well, that's it for my first look at the Hestia. Clear skies, everyone.